welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Chris with the CRC. Today guys we're going to be upgrading the uh, WL Toys 144010 on this little car we have done loads to. Um, shock upgrade, motor, servo, a few other bits and bobs um, and I have an absolute blast running this car. It's been great great fun and a great platform to work on. Now um, thank you first of all to SBRC for sending over some of the parts for this video today. Um, they have sent me a few should we say optional parts for the car and um, I'm quite looking forward to getting them on there and I also purchased a carbon fibre chassis kit as well um, so we're going to be getting that on the vehicle and then basically upgrading everything guys as we mentioned before now um, what I will do in this video is a bit of a time lapse because otherwise it'll be way too long so um, but uh, if you do have any questions, guys, about any of the upgraded parts, make sure you mention them in the comments and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, today's more of watches I'm doing and, and when, at the end of the video, we'll have a little chat about it and we'll go from there. But in the meantime, guys, thank you very much for watching the video and let's dive down. See you in the, in, on the table. Right, guys, so uh, just to show you quickly the parts we're going to be fitting to the car. All right, um, we're gonna, I purchased this chassis kit, as you can see. All right, has a carbon fiber chassis. I think you know, in, uh, it cost me here in the UK around about twenty pounds. It's nothing too uh, extravagant or expensive, but uh, I seen it and I thought, uh, yeah, that's a bit of me. And the reason why I went for this one, it does still have the little kick up for the front and back. Now there are be aware, guys, if you're going to go looking for this part, make sure you find the one with the kick ups because obviously your suspension geometry is going to be out for a start. All right, so as you can see, that one does have the kick ups on there. Um, also, it comes with um, suspension towers and also steering ackerman as well as hinge pin holders. Now, uh, big shout out to Simon SBRC. He did send me over and all these anodized parts as well, as you can see, guys. All right, so I might be using those instead, actually, for, um, see how it goes. Um, also, uh, the replacement uh, caster hubs for the front of the car um, because we broke those previously and some aluminium um, wheel hexes and also an upgraded uh, servo saver guys again with an Ackerman so I might actually just use use certain parts from this kit and certain parts from this kit um, I will put a link in the description to all this as well guys so just obviously so you can follow along if you want to do any of these upgrades and also some replacement uh, what we got drive cups dog bones and CVDs for the front um, so fingers crossed by the end of this we should have uh, one lean mean 114 machine um, so I'm quite looking forward to getting all this on we've done loads of upgrades anyway but um, the main object of all these videos guys is just basically as my motto on the channel is upgrade everything I enjoy upgrading uh, all my cars and basically getting the maximum out, out of everything that I do with them so why not anyway what I'm going to do now is put you on a bit of a time lapse um, if you want to follow along please do um, and we'll go from there but uh, I'll see you at the end of the video and we'll have a little chat
my work than I expected, honestly. Um, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Dive down at the table now. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse, by the way. Dive down at the table and I'll show you the car and I'll show you the difference in the parts and stuff that we've taken off. And also the weight savings we've made with, with the car. Um, I think it's going to make a huge difference. I love the way the car looks now. And also, I think performance-wise, it, it should definitely, definitely be a lot quicker. So let's dive down at the table and I'll show you there. Right, guys, check it out. So, we've made some awesome upgrades to this car now. We, well, so what have we done in total? Um, shock tower, carbon fiber rear, front and back. Um, I've also changed the caster hubs. We changed the uh, CVDs on the front, the dog bones on the rear. Um, we've now got, as you can see, full carbon chassis. That's looking pretty cool. All right. And on top of which, we also upgraded the servo saver and Ackerman. Um, the hinge pin holders or carbon fiber um, so other than that previously we've got a past 2845 5000 kV motor uh, SRX 200 by spectrum receiver we've also got a JX uh, it's a 1181 MG servo metal geared We've got the LG, LC Racing shocks front and rear. LC Racing EMV T spoiler. There's not really a lot left of the car now, guys. All right, now, okay, bouncings at the scales. Let's have a look, shall we? So let them zero out. And these are the parts that I've taken off the vehicle today. 205 grams, guys. Now, yeah, okay, we put parts back on, I get that. But that's a big weight saving right there. And the other thing I noticed, guys, I did have some problems. Now, so this was the drive shaft out of the car. As you can see, it snapped. So we did have drive, but it wasn't very secure. Um, what else did I notice? Obviously, all the drive shafts that I've mentioned. The front and rear shock towers, guys, were all bent. Okay. And if you look at that one, that one's off as well. So now we are talking a lot more power. Everything's back to normal. Everything's been serviced. Uh, it's a lot lighter. And, yeah. I'm happy with it. What do you think, guys? Show obviously let me know in the comments. But uh, this should be a whole barrel of fun to drive now. Right, let's get back up top, and I'll talk to you there. But like I said, there was damaged parts all over the car, and I didn't even realise. Let's go up top. Right, guys. So what's your thoughts? Um, there was a lot of damaged parts on the car. Um, firstly, um, I want to thank Simon at SBRC uh, for getting those parts over to me. Um, also, I want to thank uh, Medibo on the WL Toys uh, World Facebook page. Um, loads of knowledge about that, guys. Um, runs the actual Facebook page as well. I will put a link in the description for everyone as well, by the way. Um, who else? They just loads of people have chipped together. Gas King Valley, uh, Todd, friend of mine. That car uh, has been a labour of love. I didn't expect to put this much work into it, but I think I think we've got hell of a car going on now. Might have a few other little spicy things for it. Like I say, I do want to put some truggy wheels on there. I wouldn't mind putting a truggy body or possibly something different. Um, Oh, but as well, what we also upgraded was the wheel hexes. There were just loads of bits and bobs. There were screws missing, some were bent. Um, I, was, I was surprised, really. But uh, fingers crossed now, the only thing we have got left coming for the car is the wheels. 
and also the full hex screw conversion. Um, better than that, guys. Loving it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's a bit more of an educational video this time. Um, make sure you check, obviously, my previous videos on the car. And until next time, guys, stay safe. Make sure you check the box for the other videos. See you later.